Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we love giving unsolicited advice. I'm your host, Ian. Today, we're trying something different. In the past couple of weeks, I've made several videos, uh, both Stephen King related and just book related in general, about rereading books, my favorite books to reread, and the vast majority of comments had the same thing to say. I don't have enough time to read new books, much less reread books. So I figured I would give some unsolicited advice and tell you how I do it, even even though I do work from home and I have far, far I need to give this, this disclaimer, I have far more time than the average person on my hands, I still manage to read new books, books I want to read, and reread the stuff that I love reading. So I figured I'd give you three ways to do that. Let's get into it. Now, most people have the same reaction when I say that I have read It by Stephen King, a, an almost 1,100-page novel, 18 times. So how did I do it? I do it in small bites. I will read anywhere from 2 to 10 pages a night. Rarely do I ever just read one page. I will also do large sections when I'm in between books. Let's say I've finished a new read and I don't want to jump right into something else. I kind of want to, you know, digest what I have read. So I will do bigger sections like let's say Stanley Uris takes a bath. I believe that's 30, 40 pages long in the copy that I read and that's going to take me about an hour or so to get through. So I will do something like that but most of the time I will take my time and just read those two to ten pages. Usually it's two to five pages, especially if I'm reading something else that's really, really good. But a point I need to make here is reading is not a competition. Don't listen to Goodreads. Don't listen to people who read three, four hundred books a, a year and tell you that if you're not reading this many books, you're failing at life or whatever nonsense. Th this isn't a competition. You have no goal other than the goals you set for yourself. The only person you're in competition with is yourself the person who sets those goals or those boundaries those limitations there is absolutely no reason why you cannot read two pages a night or 10 pages a night or 50 or 100 or whatever you want to do the reason I'm making this video is to give you that that choice to if you want to reread a book and you just don't have enough time there's so many books in the world I have the ever-growing TBR that every other reader has you can still do this is it going to take a long time hell yeah it is but me being a writer I know that good things come to those who wait little bit at a time that will even boost your routine it'll strengthen your routine and it will also boost your reading speed because you are reading consistently. Which brings me to my second point. There's no reason you have to read the entire book. Now some of this may seem obvious to you guys and if it does that's fine this video is not for you. But if you're looking back on a certain book and you're like man I really missed that scene or I really missed this character, I really missed this interaction, I really missed this epic battle why not just reread that one scene? There's nothing in the rule book, because there is no rule book, there's nothing in the rule book saying that you have to reread the entire book. You can just go back to your favorite parts, and what I do, now if you don't like writing in books, that's fine, I understand how upsetting that is to some people, but they also have these little colored tabs, I'm sure you've seen them before, that you can stick on a page. If you read something and you like it, and you love it and some of you probably already do this go ahead and mark the page and that way you can go back and read your favorite section all over again I consider that a reread now did I do that with it no I didn't but if you want to take something piecemeal and just to revive what you loved about it so much or just refresh your memory there's absolutely no reason to do not not to do it now this last one is for people especially who say why should i ever reread a book that i have already read uh and this these this goes out to the same people who say they don't rewatch movies they don't rewatch anything they don't re-consume something that they've already consumed i would say the only reason that I would press you, that the question that I would ask of you is, why not? 
And I'm getting to my point here. When we enjoy something, it has a good effect on our mental well-being, our mental health. Why not take another shot at it? But here's my main point. Rereading tends to open the mind to new ideas, to new experiences. When you reread something that you already have read, especially if you read it in a rush, you might find something that you didn't see before. Every time I reread a Stephen King book or any of the books that I like to reread, I'm always catching something new. So just because you've had that experience before does not mean that you will not have a brand new experience when you read that book. Because people naturally grow, they naturally change, and when you come back to something with that new life experience, it tends to change the way you look at certain stories. Especially with me, I loved Pet Cemetery the very first time that I read it. It meant a hell of a lot more to me when I read it after becoming a father. And then reading again after I became, after my kids were old enough or to the age that the kids in that book had, you know, were at the time. So, for those of you who say you do not go back to things that you have already read, watched, seen, whatever, I would say try it and see how you feel. And I'm not trying to talk you into it, I'm just giving you an example of why you should go back and try it. One more time. But that's all the time I have for you today. I know no one asked for this and it's unsolicited advice 100%, but I did want to throw those things out there for people who wanted to and even the people who said no, never, I don't, I don't do that, I don't waste my time. Reading is not a waste of time. Whatever you do that you enjoy is worthy of your time because you are taking care of yourself. It is self-care. That's all it is and there's nothing on this planet more innocent than reading a book. It is a singular individual activity. Can you do buddy reads and stuff like that? Of course you can, but just like writing, when you read, unless you're reading to someone else, you're reading by yourself. I would also like to hear from the Beaver Scouts out there. That's what I call the people who watch this channel. I would like to hear from you guys. Do you have any advice to share with people who might be struggling who want to reread something? Or maybe even a note of encouragement for those people who say they don't do it for whatever reason. No hate, no disrespect. I'm just putting another piece of input out there that you might not have heard before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But until next time, I'll hail the chair.